Good day and welcome to Health Tech Weekly, the show on technology that helps create a healthier you. I'm your host, Jamie Davis, the pod medic. Before we get into this week's health tech item, make sure you head over to our site at htweekly.com for links to everything covered in this episode, plus contact information and a whole lot more. In this episode of Health Tech Weekly, let's look at a useful tool for parents with sick children. Parents with young children don't always know when their child's temperature spikes and their fever goes up and goes down. This can create a lot of angst and sleepless nights for parents. Enter the Raying Wireless Thermometer, a thermometer that can alert a mobile device whenever a child gets a fever. This device just received FDA approval for children aged two and older. The device is warm under the armpit attached by an adhesive strip. The child can wear this when sick and the temperature readings and fluctuations are communicated directly to an app on the parent's mobile device. The app is currently available in the iOS App Store. The wireless thermometer collects via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi network and, according to the company website, delivers the real-time body temperature to you as if you were always at the bedside. Pretty cool. Now, the app can be set to alert a parent when a target temperature is reached, meaning that nighttime medications can be managed better and given only when they're needed without waking the child and the parent up to take a manual temperature. And because the monitoring is real time, even a worried parent that might wake up in the middle of the night can quickly check to see if their child's fever is getting out of hand without ever getting out of their own bed. Now that adhesive that holds the monitor in place is non-toxic and hypoallergenic, and the wireless thermometer itself can store up to 72 hours of data without synchronizing to an iPhone or an iPad. And there is a cloud-based service that can be used to tie in with it and can actually access, provide access for remote healthcare monitoring as well, which makes it a great solution for certain home healthcare situations like health of elderly parents and relatives. The company has no other products listed, but reportedly has some interesting wireless health monitors like this in the works that would presumably work in a similar fashion. Now that's the Raying Wireless Thermometer. It should be showing up in pharmacies and at the healthcare aisle of your local markets soon. And that's going to wrap up this week's episode of Health Tech Weekly. I'm your host, Jamie Davis, the pod medic. I'll be back again soon with another episode here of the Health Tech Weekly show. In the meantime, make sure you head over and check out all of the information and links from this episode, as well as all of our other episodes and subscription information, how you can subscribe for free in iTunes and other ways on your mobile apps and a whole lot more. You can find all of that over at htweekly.com. You get there, there's a show notes link at the top of the page, there's a lot of other information there, and there are other articles posted throughout the course of the week, all available for you on the HT Weekly website, so make sure you head over there. If you'd like to get back in touch with me, perhaps you have a comment about an episode or you'd like to make a suggestion for a future episode, maybe you have a link to an article on another health tech item. Make sure you send those in to me here to podmedic at mac.com. I love to hear from you and I do respond back to each and every email that comes in. So make sure you keep those emails coming. That's it, we're gonna go ahead and close out this episode. I do wanna remind you that The road to a healthier you comes with small, purposeful steps. So I encourage you to take a step towards a healthier you today. I'll be back soon. In the meantime, stay safe and stay tuned here to Health Tech Weekly.